The first scientific description of the African elephant was written in 1797 by Johann Friedrich Blumenbach, who proposed the scientific name Elephas Africanus. Loxodonte was proposed as a generic name for the African elephant by Frederick Cuvier in 1825. This name refers to the lozenge-shaped enamel of the molar teeth, which differs significantly from the rounded shape of the Asian elephant's molar enamel. An anonymous author used the Latinized spelling Loxodonta in 1827. Anonymous was recognized as authority by the International Code of Zoological Nomenclature in 1999. Elephas, Loxodonta, Cyclotus was proposed by Paul Matschi in 1900, who described three African elephant zoological specimens from Cameroon whose skulls differed in shape from elephant skulls collected elsewhere in Africa. In 1936, Glover Morrill Allen considered this elephant to be a distinct species and called it forest elephant. Later, authors considered it to be a subspecies. Morphological and genetic analyses have since provided evidence for species-level differences between the African bush elephant and the African forest elephant. In 1907, Richard Lydecker proposed six African elephant subspecies based on the different sizes and shapes of their ears. They are all considered synonymous with the African bush elephant. A third species, the West African elephant, has also been proposed, but it needs confirmation. It is thought that this lineage has been isolated from the others for 2.4 million years.